Hi there folks, welcome back, finally, to another video. I had some computer issues, actually my faithful Sony computer died, and so it's been a little while since I posted uh, the last video, and I just want to say thank you so much for the folks who were concerned and left comments saying, we haven't seen you for a while, are you okay? So that was really, really kind, thank you. So today I want to do a review of one of the most important pieces of equipment on my property, a generator. I don't know where I'd be without this generator, so I'm very, very thankful. So let's get to it, and I'm going to give you all the ins and outs and hopefully helpful information on this generator called the Predator 2000. I purchased it at Harbor Freight in Sierra Vista and it was very reasonable in price. I paid for an extended warranty, which I'm glad I did, and it was around close to $600. I did look at others online. I looked at uh, two makes of Honda. Um, they were a 2000 inverter and a 3000 inverter, I believe. But those were way out of my price bracket. The other thing, I heard that the Predator generator uses the same engine as the Honda ones. If not, by all means, put that in the comments below and correct me on that. So I needed something to power up uh, my computer, lights, and charging my battery for my camera. Just basic things like that. Nothing too heavy. I have this uh, large surge protector with long cord that runs underneath the bed and then down through a hole in the floor to outside. And from there, it gets just plugged into the generator. So it works really, really well. And I've wrapped material all around that hole so that no rodents can climb up the plug to the generator up into my cottage. So I've been using this generator since last August. So I'm going to tell you the pluses and minuses in my experience with this generator. So we'll start with the minuses. Number one minus. The pull cord is so easily damaged or frayed, even with gentle pulls, it kept getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> I put a knot in it to hopefully strengthen the area that was frayed. Didn't matter, on a cold January day with six inches of snow in the yard, that thing snapped. Good thing I bought the extended warranty and Harbor Freight was more than willing to take it back. Of course, I had to drain all the fluid out of it. And before taking it back, I took it apart just in case I could see how you could replace the cord. Not easy if you could ever do that. Everything is so jammed in there, you'd have to have super tiny hands and a lot of skill to ever go in there with any kind of tools and undo the pull cord mechanism. The brand new one was different. It really worried me. It was super smooth sounding, but in just a matter of several days, powered down. And I'm like, what is wrong with this? Really worried. And the light was saying, check engine oil. So, it started out being an oil burner. About a month later or so, and even up to now, it's totally fine. So for maintenance with this unit, I try to do an oil change about once every two weeks. I do use this unit uh, several hours a day, probably six, eight hours a day, every day. So it gets a lot of use, and of course, then it does need to be maintained with frequent oil changes.
So I'm standing right beside the generator, and even though I am literally inches away, I could easily carry on a conversation, and if someone was standing nearby, I could hear them as well. So this is a very quiet generator. So this is a test to determine if my neighbors can hear my generator. I'm right at my property line and really close to their dooryard. So if they were sitting in the dooryard and my generator was noisy, they would be able to hear it. Can you folks hear anything? I can't hear a thing. So that makes me really, really thankful. I certainly want to be a good neighbor and not disturb anyone. So now at 100 feet, I can definitely hear the generator. I don't find it really noisy or distracting, but now I can definitely hear it. So what that tells me is if you had this generator somewhere and we're using it to power your RV, even a hundred feet away, it would not be intrusive to other folks nearby. So there are a few things that can void the warranty with this particular generator. One of them is not adding, and I'll show you here, this stabilizer to the fuel. And then I got thinking, all the documentations are talking about normal use where you store the generator for months and then drag it out during some kind of power outage, etc. Well, I use this generator every day for hours every day. And I know it's probably not designed for that, but I have no choice until all of my solar gets put in place and I have electricity here. So I've not been using the stabilizer now for months. I haven't noticed any performance issues at all with the generator, so I hope I'm doing okay with that. The other thing in the manual, it says this generator needs to be grounded. So I wasn't quite sure about that, but I did go to Sierra Vista and got a great big copper grounding rod that was really expensive to pound into the ground and a wire to run to the generator from the rod. But after talking to other folks that own generators, they said, we've never grounded our generator. You should be totally fine. So I've chosen not to do that. Makes it a lot easier to move the generator around when I want to. And so far it's been fine. So a crucial question would be, would I purchase this generator again? definitely would. The main reason, cost. Very, very inexpensive overall. And once they're broken in, they're very, very reliable. I mean, a couple tugs and away that engine goes. Very, very quiet. So a lot of pluses. So overall, I really like the generator. I do not like the pull cord mechanism. But hopefully we'll with less wear and tear on it, then it'll be a non-issue in the future. So that's my review of the Predator generator. I hope it was helpful to someone who was maybe thinking of buying this particular generator. As I said, uh, it works well for me and very, very cost effective. Also, thanks once again to everybody who was worried and concerned about me. Um, there's a couple factors I didn't mention. I was away for a week uh, birding in the Chiricahua Mountains about an hour and 45 minutes for, from here. Beautiful place. And at some point I'll get some video of that area. It's absolutely stunning. And the other thing is I did order another computer and uh, it came in the mail just totally shattered big pile of glass is all it was. So I got my money back, but it just delayed everything. And so uh, I've been pretty 
uh, slow in putting up a new video. So thanks again for watching folks and if you'd like to see more videos just hit the little notification bell thing that will tell you when a new video is coming and I promise you there will be a lot more videos and I'll be posting a lot more frequently than I have been lately. So thanks so much and I hope to see you on the next video.